Welcome to this shed painting video. Here you will learn about the steps to painting your storage shed. Today we will show you everything you need to know to paint your shed. You will learn how to caulk nail heads and joints, paint the trim, cut in the paint around the trim, and paint the main body of your backyard shed. The first step to painting the shed is to make sure that the surfaces are clean and that any nail heads are set into the wood. Look at each surface for any nail heads that are sticking up and use a hammer to nail them flush with the surface. If there is sawdust on the surface of the shed, you will take a wet rag and wash the surfaces. The second step is to prime the surfaces of the shed. Primer is designed to help the paint bind to the wood surface. It also seals the wood surface so that the paint will go on and dry evenly, which allows the finished paint coat to cure properly. The siding panels and trim we used came with a pre-primed finish, so we will not need to install primer on this shed. The third step is to apply caulking over the nail heads and cracks. Nail heads can be left uncaulked, but by applying a bit of caulk you can make them almost disappear. Prepare the caulking tube by cutting off the end of the tip with a sharp knife at about a 45 degree angle. You want to cut very close to the end so that you have an eighth of an inch diameter opening. Start by working on a few nail heads at a time. Apply a dab of caulk to as many nail heads as you can without it drying before you finish. Then use a wet finger to push the caulk into the cracks and make the surface of the caulking level with the surface of the wood without creating a concave surface. Now take a wet paintbrush and brush the surface of the caulking so that the caulking gets a brush texture and the caulking on the wood surface blends with the wood pattern. Installing caulking on the corner joint between the trim and shed walls will create a nice finish to your paint job. Caulked corners are much easier to paint a straight line on when painting the trim a different color from the main body. Place the tip of the caulking tube on the corner joint and apply caulking to the corner while moving the caulking tip along the corner joint. The trick to applying caulking is to apply the minimal amount of caulk needed to fill the joint. Try to keep moving along the corner joint at the same rate of speed so the bead of caulk is even. Now take a wet rag and use it to get your finger wet and run your finger along the corner joint to press the caulking into the joint and smooth the edges on the trim and siding. You may need to periodically clean your finger on the wet rag and refresh the wetness of your fingertip. The fourth step is to paint the trim. When painting, you should always start high and work down. This allows gravity that pulls the paint drips down to help you instead of work against you. Try to work on one wall at a time and paint all the trim on one wall before moving to the next. This reduces the times you need to move your equipment and materials. Start at the roof eaves and apply paint to the trim and soffit. Use long strokes when brushing and work from one end of the piece of trim to the other so that you are always installing new paint on the top of the wet paint edge. It is easier to paint the shed before the roof drip edge is installed. After the fascia and soffit are painted, you can move down to the corner trim. Start at the top and work your way down. The paint should fully cover the trim and slightly go onto the shed walls. The door trim is painted in the same manner as the corner trim. You will need to tape off the hinges so that they do not get paint on them. Apply tape to the hinge surfaces and then use a utility knife to cut off any pieces of tape that touch the shed walls. You will typically need to apply two coats of trim paint to make sure that you have even coverage. Check the application instructions on your paint to verify how soon after the first coat of paint is applied that you can apply a second coat. Remember that factors like air temperature, humidity, and wind will change the speed at which your paint will dry. The fifth step is to cut in the main color around the trim. This creates a clean line between the trim paint and the main body paint. Install painter's tape on the trim side of the corner joint. Use long pieces of tape to make sure that you get a straight line. Stick one end of the tape to the trim with the edge in the corner joint and pull a few feet of tape out and align it with the joint and press it into the joint. 
Use a 2 inch angled brush to cut in around the trim. Once again, work from the top down to keep ahead of any drips. After getting a good line along the corner between the trim and the wall, you will paint a 2 inch wide strip on the shed wall. Cut in all the trim to shed wall connections before moving on to paint the shed walls. The sixth step is to use a paint roller to paint the main body of the shed. When using a roller, you will work from one end of the shed wall to the other. Load the roller with paint and then roll the paint on in full lines from the top of the wall to the bottom before moving down the wall. Roll up and down several times to make sure that you get the paint in all the surface variations. Sometimes it helps to lift the roller and spin it so that the same part of the roller is not always on the same part of the wall surface. Load the roller with paint again and paint the next line in the same way. Overlap the first line by about 2 inches. This allows any new paint to easily mix with the paint that was previously applied and reduces the chance of roller lines showing up when the paint dries. You always want to apply new paint onto the wet edge of the paint you previously applied. Work your way around the shed and paint all the surfaces. You will typically need to apply two coats of paint to make sure that you have even coverage. Remove the tape after the second coat of paint is applied. Continue learning about shed building by clicking on one of these videos. Thanks for watching.